Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who happens to run across this video. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, and it's 9.07 a.m. And it is cold here in Alabama. It was 35 degrees when I took Buddy out this morning. And you know that little doggy? He walked at least, I'm guesstimating, 20 feet. But I gave him more, I gave him an extra treat with hemp oil and some CBD oil 30 minutes before we went out. So that makes me wonder if his back legs are hurting him. And pain medicine, well, he's like his normal self inside, but I was so thrilled. Anyway, um, for those of you who uh, may not have seen this already, it was dated April 13th, or it is dated April 13th. And I want to play just a little bit of it, because um, it's on Brideon and... Who else was playing it? Richie from Boston. So if you don't follow him, you may not have seen it. I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it first. All right. And the person, actually, the video who it belongs to is, um, let's see. Let me click on this source. Well, Mr. President, Vice President, thank you for, for being here. Uh, really appreciate your visit uh, to FEMA. I think uh, your visit really, oh, okay. as you this indicated last week, uh, by signing the uh, National uh, Emergency. This is just We're going to connect the dots for anybody who has ears to hear. Some people are going to want to dispute this. But okay, so I don't know who put together this video, unless it was Chico and Debbie Jimenez. All right? That's that's where I was uh, when I clicked on the link in Brideon from, um, oh, I forget the name of their channel. But anyway, it's Kathy and Dan, uh, Team Jesus 222 or something, or uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, listen to this just for a minute, and then I'll link it in the description box. I could play the whole thing, but a lot of it is they're showing you things, and you'd want to see them, okay? But this is just to show you, um, let's just call this our fourth witness. But we're not going to argue with anyone. This is what's going on. There is no Q. There is no anonymous that has any information about this government or anything else that's going on. They have been leading you down a path of lies, all to hide the truth. And here's what's really going on. FEMA has more power than the President of the United States or the Congress. It has the power to suspend laws, move entire populations, arrest and detain citizens without a warrant, and hold them without trial. It can seize property, food supplies, transportation systems, and can suspend the Constitution. When a state of emergency is declared, Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state of emergency... Notice it says, I just caught this. They're allowed to do all this stuff, develop the plans to establish control over the mechanism of production. In other words, shut you down if they want to shut you down, tell you to keep working if they want your product and distribution of energy sources. They get into that a little bit more later on another executive order. Wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money. Um, in U.S. financial institution. Now, this is the part I wanted to call out. In any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state of emergency is declared by the president, 
Congress cannot review the action for six months. Okay, she gets into talking about other executive orders, what they do, what they mean. Uh, she shows the clip of, let's see if this is the one. Okay, I'll go ahead and play this. She is declared by the President, Congress cannot review this action for six months. Now, with the understanding that after Trump signed the National Emergency Declaration, FEMA took over. Now, this is March 13th, 2020. Listen to what he's going to say now. This is right after he signed the National Emergency into effect. It is only the beginning of what we're really doing, and now we're in a different phase. This is only the beginning of what we're really doing because what they're really doing is putting everything in place to start the new world order. Now we're in a different phase. The different phase. Yes, yeah, so she, the part, <clears throat> okay, here is where he is visiting FEMA. Fast forward to March 19th, 2020, in the FEMA National Response Coordination Center. Mr. President, Vice President, thank you for, for being here. Really appreciate your visit uh, to FEMA. I think uh, your visit really, uh, as you indicated last week, uh, by signing the National Emergency, uh, has really empowered FEMA, has really empowered FEMA, has really empowered FEMA. And he just made the declaration that FEMA is empowered, has really empowered FEMA. Has really empowered FEMA. Okay. Um, oh, here is the one where he talks about. Um, yeah, I'll just keep playing it, and then after this one, I'll stop it and want to tell you about something else. Fast forward to April tenth, twenty twenty. In plain words, it's been my great honor to have been their president. Past tense. Uh, the American people have been so disciplined. It's been my honor to be their president. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll say it always. It's been it's been my great honor to have been their president, and it's been my great honor to have been their president, and have been their president, have been their president. Been their president. Uh, I have a big decision coming up, and I only hope to God that it's the right decision. But it'll be based on. Um, the input from a lot of very talent, talented people, very smart people, and people that love our country. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Okay, that was April the 10th. It's been my great honor to have been their president. All right. That again is called Trump has given the reins to FEMA. That's L caps F-E-M-A, and they put a period after each one. I don't know if that matters when you're searching for a video, but it's by, this is all one word, Chico and, A-N-D, Debbie, space, Jimenez, J-I-M-E-N-E-Z. And the source that I clicked on is that little piece from the news with him, them visiting, him and uh, Pence visiting FEMA that I just played. Wait a minute, show more. Okay, all right, she's got lots of links down here. All right, whitehouse.gov briefings and another. Oh, the original. Oh, my goodness. This uh, two hours, 11 minutes, 38 seconds. The original YouTube video. Miles of wall and... Uh, in speaking with the president, uh, they have a limit. Uh, the OPEC nations have agreed to a different limit, reduction of about 23%. Okay. So what I thought I would do, and I don't know that... That's from his speech of it has been my honor. Okay, and they just gave the minute at, w that, at which you could find that. He actually will not be making any more decisions. This group of people that he says will be helping him make decisions are the ones that are making decisions. Okay. Uh, okay, now, 
what I, I thought I'd go ahead and share and put the two links in the description box. Um, this is so that you will know what hour we are living in. The world... Okay, where is it? Don't tell me. It didn't go into my history. Well, that figures. It's not here. I'll have to hunt for it and make a separate video. Alright, so I'll end this here. And uh, I'll just say uh, with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later. Um, well, I will plead the blood of Jesus over it. So it will go up. The internet connection. Myself, my computer, and each and every one of you. And all of your devices. And your internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.